We were literally getting gang mobbed by a neighborhood for just driving in their neighborhood. An El Cajon family says a drive to see a fireworks show ended with a mob of people ripping off their car door. ABC 10 News reporter Michael Chen shows why the family believes the attack was racially motivated. July 4th, just before 9 p.m., William Gavin, fiance Alana Christman, and their two children, a six-year-old girl and a two-year-old boy, were driving on Lima Court looking for Kennedy Park and the fireworks show and I was looking down at my GPS and I hear, you can't come in our neighborhood. Chrisman in the front passenger seat looked up. I saw someone in the like, corner of my eye and all of a sudden this like flame went on my chest and my entire like shirt started like throwing embers. A lit cigarette had flown through an open window. Gavin says he stopped the car, got out and saw the man who tossed the cigarette, a white man in his 50s. Gavin asked him a question. Why would you do that? Like. Just why would you do that? He's coming at me talking about, come on, come on. I'm like, come on what, you know? He swings at me, I just throw him down and get back in the car because my children are screaming. Christmas says what happened next? I was completely freaked out. My adrenaline was running and I was completely upset for my kids. It was surreal and scary. Five to six white men, many holding beer bottles, yelling and attacking Gavin and the car. They were why? ripping his shirt, hitting yeah. him. There's a hinge that holds my door together that's completely broken off. Gavin believes the attack was racially motivated. I know when something's racial, you know, I know when someone's aiming at me. Eventually, Gavin drove off, parked, and quickly called police. He says a Hispanic family approached, claiming the men had just targeted them. But they were throwing water bottles at his car and telling them they can't be in their neighborhood. The couple says police told them the man who threw the cigarette would be cited for misdemeanor assault. I want justice to start happening. I want things to start happening the right way. Michael Chen, ABC 10 News. Well, the couple says that it's frustrated at El Cajon police because there were no interviews of the Hispanic family or the mob of neighbors. Police tell ABC 10 News that many witnesses left the scene and the investigation is ongoing. They also say there are accusations the couple collided with a pedestrian causing minor injuries, which the couple deny. And a local organization.